Ladies and gents and the rest, today we're going to have five more units with all three, you know, each, t just let's go. Bandits, talent number one, pick lock, earn an extra plus two gold when opening chests. Okay, so what happens here is when bandits open the chest, they get plus two gold. So as you can see, it's instead of two, it's uh, plus four. Now, there is a one change that Blizzard recently made for the bandits. You, it used to be, you used to have to last hit the gold chest to get bonus gold with a bandit. Now, when they hit the gold chest, it gets buffed for 1.5 seconds. And whoever last hits the gold chest still gets the bonus uh, gold from bandits. Next talent is Deadly Poison, Gain Poison. Alright, here's how it works. On the left side, bandits are poisoned. <laughs> bandits are poisoned on the right side. They don't have a poison talent. As you can see, the left Huntress dies, the right Huntress survives with, with almost half HP. So the idea here is that bandits cost one gold. Huntress costs five. And Huntress, as you all know, it's an extremely powerful unit, um, an expensive unit. And you can counter that with one gold bandits. Even if they're lower level. Next talent is Last Resort. On death, stun the target for 3 seconds. Okay, here's how it works. The bandit starts attacking the target. Boom, gets killed. And stuns this target for 3 seconds. The idea here is that... The bandits, the bandit will only stun the target if he is hitting the target. If you just pass him by and you you kill the bandits, they're not gonna stun anything around. Um, also, as you can see, I'm specifically showing you that only one bandits, only one bandit is required to stun the target. If you send both bandits uh, on one target, uh, and they usually die at the same time, so you're not gonna have more stun out of it. So what do we take? Uh, number one is pick lock. This is the PVE and PVP talent, mostly PVE of course, but as a first talent I'd recommend pick lock. And, well, it's probably a bad example, but uh, every single deck that kills Onyxia has this bandits with this talent. I know by the time you get to Onyxia you'll probably have this talent anyway, but that's how it works. Pick lock is number one. Number two, I would go with poison, obviously, deadly poison, uh, because like I showed you in terms of uh, use, number of use cases, it's number two. And uh, last resort, right now is actually a uh, meta talent, but only right now. It's a very rare situation where you will need that. So pick lock number one, poison number two, last resort number three. Chickens! The best unit in the world, the butchers. Furious foil. For gain fury, what you're looking at is a bunch of chickens uh, destroying the PVE boss. The chickens are probably the best at, um, unit against single target bad tanks and units. Next talent is a walking crate. Deploy in a protective crate when destroyed chickens emerge. As you can see, in order to get the chickens out, you have to destroy the box. Uh, we will talk about usefulness of this talent when we get to the what to choose first section. Next talent, Snacrifice. Nearby beast allies can consume a chicken to heal themselves. Here's what it looks like. So the Prowler is injured and the Snacrifice chickens are coming. Watch what happens. Boom, you see? He turns uh, to the chickens and consumes one. There is an animation of actually eating chickens. Keep watching. And look at the Prowler, you see? He turns to them every time and he consumes one. That's how it works.
So what do we take? Number one, obviously, is Fury Talent, because it makes this unit even deadlier in PvE. In PvP, it's not much of a use, because they can be killed by literally almost anything. Any non-single target unit, which pretty much is everything that we use in PvP. Number two, I would go with Walking Crate, because um, in order to one-shot those chickens, you have to break the box, which means you have to spend some gold to break the box. For example, Chain Lightning, in order to kill chickens with Chain Lightning, you have to break the box first with Chain Lightning, you know what I'm saying? So you have to spend more gold. That's why this, uh, it's kind of, maybe in the future it will be usable in PvP, so Walking Crate is number one, number two, and number three is Snackerfice, because the footage that I showed you, it took me you know, like maybe 20 minutes to actually find a way to show you how it works because every time I would try to do it, uh, the chickens would die before they would get to Prowler or Prowler would like would need chickens. It's it's really it's really hard to find a use case <laughs> with this talent. So number one, Fury. Number two, Box. Number three, Sacrifice. War song grunts. Yes, they are epic. Don't ask me why. I know. Talent number one, guard duty. Remain in a deploy location until entering combat. I apologize for the red background. Um, recently, Blizzard released the update and it's bugged. And Onyxia's encounter looks like this, but I'm pretty sure it's visible. So here's what it looks like. So we throw uh, grunts like this and they're just gonna stand still like this until something attacks them. Okay. Now here is an, uh, the exact same situation, except we're not going to throw them here, we're going to put them right here and see what happens. Boom. See? They attack the gold chest because they get aggroed by a gold chest. Uh, they will take the gold chest and they will just keep going. So it's kind of like uh, entering combat. So keep that in mind. You, you don't need to damage them, you just need to aggro them. And it doesn't need to be your army, it can be in the just neutral gold chest. Next talent is Command. Nearby beast allies deal 30% additional damage. Guys, I tried. I tried to find to somehow show it in the video, but I just couldn't. It's like Prowler with a 30% bonus beast damage. Same thing. There is no way to show it. I don't even know if it works because a lot of a lot, lots of talents that buff things like that don't work. Yeah. Talent number three, Blood Pact. When a grunt dies, the other gains bloodlust. Here is what it looks like. So the left uh, grunt is gonna die. Watch. Soon as he dies, the right guy is gonna get bloodlusted. Watch. Boom. 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 Okay. So the difference, the special thing about this bloodlusted grunt, I don't know if it's a bug or it's intentional. Today is March 17th, 2024. This bloodlust lasts forever until this grunt dies. Because I have a full footage of this, uh, of this video, not this 15 seconds, where you can see that this, uh, the, the, guard, the grunt walks straight to the boss and attacks the boss, and bloodlust still stays. Usually bloodlust, if somebody gets bloodlust, it lasts 10 seconds. This guy keeps it forever. I don't know if it's intentional. So what do we take here? No. First of all, this unit is barely used anywhere. Unless you have fetish for a horde and you, you know, you used to play horde when you were in Warcraft, I wouldn't suggest using this unit at all. For 5 gold, you can have way better value using other units in PvE or, or PvP, but if something changes, um, Blood Pact number 1, Guard Duty number 2, and Command number 3, because it's the most unreliable talent, I don't even know if it works. Necromancer. Talent number 1, Jeweled Schools. Summon Skeletal Mages instead of Skeletons. So this skeletal mages slow targets, and that allows you the, b because of that uh, 
high HP tanks cannot kill um, all the skeletons quick en quickly enough. I spawned the ghoul, I don't know what for. Um, like these skeletal mages, like they serve as a uh, kind of like crowd control tanks and damage dealers at the same time. And your necromancer will never get damaged, like especially in in a context like that. So that's what it's for. This is an extremely useful talent used everywhere. It's just mm. Next talent is Cult of the Damned on Kill Summon a Skeleton. This is like the best encounter to show you, uh, to showcase this talent. So the minus of this talent is that the unit that will turn to Skeleton has to be last hit by the Necromancer. So the Skeletons cannot spawn Skeletons. It has to be a Necromancer that last hits the target. Talent number three is Breath of the Dying. On death, summon five skeletons. Here we go. That does exactly what it says. Our necromancer is going to get killed in a second. And it's going to turn into five skeletons. Who will kill these enemy skeletons and just walk. And walk. <laughs> So what do we take? A lot of people make this mistake when it comes to necromancers. Um, Jeweled Schools is way, way, way better than the other two talents combined. This is talent number one and the only talent that you need. Everything else is not really used unless we find some, some new synergy with uh, new modifiers in PvP. Jeweled Schools allow you to do million things, slow target targets, kill things take towers effortlessly uh, number two i would go with breath of the dying because it's again it's well it's like it's extra tanking it's it's just again it's it's not because it's good it's just it's a little better than the third talent and the third talent obviously is cult of the damned having to last hit things to get extra skeletons is not that good it has to work as an aura, maybe then we will think about taking that, right? Jeweled Schools, number one. Breath of the Dying, number two. Cult of the Damned, number three. Core Hounds, talent number one, Eternal Bond. Resurrection range is unlimited. Let's see what we have. So this right, uh, this bottom one is going to die, and this the left top one is going to resurrect the bottom one. Watch. Okay, so it's dead. Boom. And this left bra resurrects his right bra. Boom, gets up. Works exactly as it says. The range is really unlimited. It used to be bugged. Now it works correctly. Amazing talent. <laughs> Next talent is Guard Dog. Deal 50% additional damage near friendly towers and meeting stones. Here's what I want you to see. Let's go slowly. Okay. So right now, we are not uh, near our summoning stone or a tower, and our core hound hits for 50% of raptor's HP bar. Remember that, 50% of an HP bar in one hit. Okay. There's a fight. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da -da -da. Now... Okay, now we are throwing them when they are near our summoning stones, right? Watch this. They hit, it's the exact same amount of HP. 50% of Raptor's HP bar. Which makes me think that this talent is not working correctly. Again, by the, maybe when you're watching this, they've already fixed it, but again, March 17th, 2024, I don't think it's working.
Next talent is fi f fairy fi f on resurrection damage nearby enemies for fuck's sakes. Here is the most interesting part. So this, the one that has less HP is gonna die, and this one is gonna resurrect him. Watch, see it. It dies, now I'm gonna cast Cheat Death, so we have time, so this uh, Quarterhound has time to res to resurrect the other one. Watch. Bam! That's the main thing you should know, that this damage that the Quarterhound does when it's resurrected attacks flying units. And it's roughly, uh, the damage is roughly equal to one uh, auto-attack of a Quarterhound, except it's AoE and it affects flying units. So what do we take? Well, obviously, number one is Eternal Bond. It's used in PvP, in PvE. It's just a great talent, hands down, the best. Number two is this fairy, the thing on resurrection damage nearby enemies because it's a, well, it's a second best talent, and because third talent doesn't work, right? And of course, the one that doesn't work, Guard Dog, uh, we can't even talk about it because it's not working right now, right now. And uh, and the mechanic is not really that useful anyway, so I would take it as number three. That's all.